Sir Giorgio Frassati unexpectedly went to continue his studies at a Roman Catholic school. Hi, I'm Father David Belushi, and in chapter four of my book, Pier Giorgio Frassati, Truth, Love, and Sacrifice, I talk about Pier Giorgio's studies. Pier Giorgio had begun studying under a tutor whose name is Rosina Busato, and from the tutor, he went with his sister Luciana to a state school called Massimo D'Azeglio. But at the state school, Pier Giorgio needed to repeat Latin. And in Italy at the time, repeating Latin meant repeating the whole year. And so he is sent by his mother and father to study at the Jesuit run Institute in Turin called the Sociale. And we hear about this in one of his letters to his friend, Carlo Bellingeri. And he writes to Carlo from Polone, October 26th, 1917. Dearest Carlo, maybe you already know that I failed. I really didn't think about flunking Latin. Instead, I was worried about composition and instead the opposite happened. I will go to the Sociale where I'll attend second year classes in hope of taking the first year exams in February. And so Pier Giorgio goes to the Sociale in Turin and has a, a Roman Catholic education. And the Jesuits at the time in Turin provided a central Eucharistic spirituality at the Institute, as well as a Marian spirituality. And as a result of his Roman Catholic formation in this institute, Pier Giorgio's spiritual life intensified. He was going to Eucharistic adoration, and he was also joining various Marian confraternities. From the um, Sociale, we also hear about Pier Giorgio participating in what are called the St. Vincent Conferences, and these are conferences where members will go out into the slums of Turin and try to offer some kind of support to the people in Turin. In fact, when Pier Giorgio goes to Berlin, he will also find ways of helping the poor students of Berlin. Pier Giorgio then pursues his studies in mining engineering at the Turin Polytech. And we can sense that Pier Giorgio's studies do not come easy. He has to work very hard, and he does work hard, to excel in his courses. He perseveres. He is determined. We sense these qualities in his writings when he talks about his studies. But even more important is that Pier Giorgio always has God as a focus. God is central to his life, his many uh, activities going out to see the poor, his prayer activities. And he also finds time for his friends. So even though he has difficulty in this determined effort that he has with his studies, he does not give up. He works hard and he does excel. But God is always the center. And his friends, he always makes time for them. And this is what you will read in chapter four of my work, Pier Giorgio Frassati, truth, love, and sacrifice. Thanks for listening.